Hey y'all, so today I'm gonna be talking about how to set up your storefront as an Amazon influencer. So as an Amazon influencer, we get a lot of different benefits to make it super easy for our audience to shop on our storefront. Once you get accepted into the Amazon influencer program, setting up your storefront is the fun part. Like that is literally when the fun begins. Like if you're like a Pinterest girl or a Tumblr girly, like this gives that vibe. Like you're setting up your store full of items that you either dream of having or are already have like it's just so much fun like this is a, seriously one of the funnest parts of being an Amazon influencer and that is update my story friend like I love doing it I love organizing it even though it's like not a lot of design options I do still like to make sure things look good because like when you upload videos you can change the thumbnails or like when I put different products in my store I like to make sure I, ch I stick to a color so if I stick to like all cream all black i'll make sure that all the first products of what i put in are black or something like that like i like to keep the color scheme similar all across the board so it's like little small things like that little small details like that really help your storefront to stand out so on our storefront we're able to create different categories and put different products inside of each category for people to shop so each category is called idea list so idea list you're able to name your idea list and fill it up with a bunch of products you can fill up your idea list with any and everything on amazon for idea list i like to keep the names super simple straight to the point if it's for bags it's for bags if it's for sunglasses it's for sunglasses i don't like to group things in under one idea list like accessories and just put bags sunglasses jewelry under there because it would get too long and then people would be scrolling for days trying to find whatever item they're looking for so i like to really break it up so if i have an idea list called recent orders and i feel like there's too many items inside that list and people are just scrolling for days i will create recent orders two and recent orders three and recent orders four so that way i can always just say recent orders i just like to keep everything super organized and just a bunch of different folders so that way people know like if they're looking for an item they know exactly where to go even though i'm going to tell them where to go but even still if they don't read the caption or anything like that they will know oh sunglasses sunglasses oh bag bags i like to keep the titles real short easy to the point to create your own idea list all you have to do is go to the yellow button that says create content and you will see idea list once you hit idea list you will see title your idea list what is this idea list about and then you will be able to start to add products and you have to have a minimum of at least two products for the idea list to go through so once you hit add products you'll be able to pull products from like your browser history your order history you could type it in you you can search the product you can do all the things or you can do it directly from the product so if you're ever on Amazon and you're shopping and you see a product and you want to add it to your list all you have to do is click add to list choose the list that you want it to go to and it will go straight there so there's different ways to add products to your list and they make it super easy for you and if you already have a list created you can hit edit and that way you'll be able to add multiple products at once so when you initially create the list you'll be able to add multiple products if you're ever shopping and you want to click on the item and just add that in as you're shopping all you have to do is scroll down to add to list or you can go to your already created list and hit edit to continue to add more products so they make it super easy for you to add to your storefront your amazon storefront doesn't stop at just creating lists you can even create posts you can do live streams you can also add to the new feature called curation you can also pin your list so you get a maximum of four pins so you can pin your most important list at the top of your page because once you add in different elements like photos videos different lists they will all get like scrambled up at the bottom so it will all be just mixed in but if you want to make sure that when people come to your storefront that they see these four important lists they will be right pinned at the top so they won't go anywhere no matter what's going on below it so at the top of my list i have jewelry bags sunglasses and content creator must haves i'm always a dating those and i feel like my top sellers come from those lists so i like to keep them at the top when you update lists that you already have they will also get bumped up to the top so because i'm always updating my recent orders and like fall finds and different stuff like that they always go to the top even if i have other content so even if i upload videos those lists will go above that because i'm always updating i don't pin them because i'm always updating them so no matter what they still stay at the top either way you can do it like 
like that like you can keep the ones that you don't update the most but you want people to see to the top four i would personally do the list that has your top sellers in it like put that at the top the list that you make the most content for keep those at the top you just want to make everything easier for people so keep that at the top the newest feature called curation is just a cool way to make different topics where you can add idea lists or different content under it you can say like must have fall sweaters and then under that curation you could put all your different lists under there or like different content that you have created and posted on your storefront you can put it all there so that way people can can find it like that instead of scrolling through all of your content so it's just another way to organize the content on your page and you get up to 10 curations on your storefront i use curations during prime day so during prime day i had all my prime topics organized at the top of my storefront under curate to make it easier for people to just know like okay these folders right here hold the prime content click on that and then i'll i'll see everything i need for prime day once prime day was over i took it off now i don't have any curations but i will start to prepare the next set of curations for black friday when there's different events you can use it that way or you can use it like just set it up consistently you can set up your curations however you want to i think it's coming in useful for like different events so that way people know like soon as they get on boom it's right there without messing up my other pins and stuff because it's only a temporary event like it's only a couple day event so i like to use the curations instead of like doing the pins because i like to keep my pins pinned curation is kind of like a pin thing but just a little bit different setting up your storefront is super easy as much as you can organize your storefront it makes it easier for people to shop it makes it easier for people to want to stay on your storefront to visit your storefront to like the pages of your storefront it just makes it so much easier like just just always keep that in the back of your mind make it easy for the people to shop on your storefront and they will love your storefront and continue to use your storefront so that's pretty much all the basics you need to know for setting up your storefront design leave all your questions or concerns in the comments and i will make sure i answer them i will even make more videos about being an amazon influencer so anything y'all want to know let me know and i got y'all thank you for watching this video and don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video deuces